Type screw. You son of a bitch. How are you? So today I want to share my thoughts about how Zot package in TypeScript and uh, JSON survey in Rust help to achieve uh, data safety. And I've got the same application pretty much uh, in TypeScript, so I'm accepting some car information with the brand uh, BMW and the model X5 and the year 1999 in TypeScript and the same uh, JSON in uh, uh, Rust. And I've got my basic car schema, which is uh, saying, okay, the data is supposed to be an object with a brand string, model string, year number, and should be an integer. Same stuff kind of happens in uh, Rust. I uh, have got my struct car, which I deserialize from JSON, where this is a string, model is a string, and this is I-35. And uh, I also wanted to experiment with uh, working uh, with uh, methods of a class. So um, in the case of Rust, I just assign a method to a struct get age, where now is kind of 2023, uh, uh, extracting date from a, a local time, whatever, and doing a method. And of course, the get age works just like a charm in, uh, like a charm in uh, Rust. But in case of Zod, after my schema has been validated, I can transform my incoming data. And all I do is I just create a replica of a car uh, schema, inferring the type, and I can implement its brand and model in year. Um, you know. So this says car incorrectly implements interface, blah, 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 of a car, because uh, it should have all the matching uh, values from the schema. So really, really simple stuff, and the car has a get age as well. Uh, get age, like in Rust, right? So the same functionality, just in order to be able to get age of a car, after the passing was or uh, parsing was successful so the thing is interesting to me well <clears throat> if i run it of course so uh, yeah it gives me a bmw the brand uh, the data is, was correct and it gave me a an, an age of 24 uh, if I tried to pass a floating point in here for the year, obviously it's giving me a bunch of errors. It's going to this branch, showing the error, and the same is for Rust. If I'm passing none i32 value, it's just going to give me an error. All right, there's an invalid floating point in there, whereas it had expectation of a integer. So for that, of course, there's some more coding in place, uh, mainly because Zod is not giving us the classes of our types or whatever, it's just checking data, so it's data safe approach for for whatever we throw at it and it's successful with uh, with this rust immediately parses stuff to structs right whoops so yeah rust parses stuff into structs and primitives, it's especially easy if you don't have way too complicated structures in there. And you get uh, access to um, struct methods immediately because, well, it's a struct and you can work with it directly, right? And I 
had to use really a transform function to actually build a representation, like, like class instance of a car, to actually get some uh, functionality inside there. So this is it. So code-wise, uh, for those who like to say that Rust is way too complicated, I mean, doing this simple thing is just as straightforward as it could be. There's some uh, matching, uh, validating if the result was successful or not. And Zod does the same thing. So if there's a success, I could use a switch just to match uh, Rust's approach. So if this is a success, then there is data inside there. Just like with Rust, uh, uh, I am returning a proper car uh, data, uh, like a st struct uh, instance. And the same with error, right? We get an error. Really, really similar approaches and similar outcomes of these approaches. And I didn't want to uh, make a versus video. I wanted to show end video. So achieving the same data safety um, in Rust and Zod with TypeScript is quite easy. Uh, of course, you might say, well, Zod has some min whatever uh, lengths for the string of, I don't know, five. I guess that would throw a uh, similar error. Type string uh, must contain at least five characters. Well, you cannot do that in JSON 30 um, as is. I haven't tried that, but apparently there's JSON Thursday's uh, extension, Thursday valid, which would do the very same thing you would pass in as minimum and maximum thing, and you would call a validate function on whatever you had in there, which is pretty much what you do with uh, Zod. Um, so yeah, a diverse view on data safety. I guess that's it. Not too much this time, but I hope you liked it and keep exploring more languages and approaches. Cheers.